Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. It's Thursday. One more day till Friday. And super fun things planned for tomorrow. Hopefully, I can vlog it. I'm not sure if I can vlog it tomorrow or if I have to wait a week. So, you guys are about to find out our super super secret summer plans. And some of you guys have already guessed, actually. Um, anyway, that's going to happen soon. But I want to show you what's happening in my living room right now. You know you're a true equestrian when your house looks like this. We got this happening in the living room. Gabby's got some saddle soap and some beeswax. And I prefer the beeswax better. Well, yeah, the saddle soap just cleans it. Yeah, I know. I but yeah, she's been, how long have you been shining this baby up? I did it last night, now I'm doing it today. Yeah, so it's something that you I really finished it last night. Then I Re yeah like redoing it. Today. Well yeah like you know when you sleep things just magically happen. It could get dirty while you're sleeping, right? She just oh, wants to get out of homeschool, but it won't work on me. I know it is school time. Good morning. Okay, does anybody notice that Sophie always has a dirty face in every video? <laughs> One day you're gonna look back at these videos and be like, I always had a dirty face. In yesterday's video, we asked you guys which one of our dogs is scared, terrified of thunder and lightning. And Sophie wanted to tell you so bad, I had to shut the camera off so fast because she kept trying to blurt it out. But she's going to tell you today, um, one person so far that I've read actually guessed. Only one. Everybody else thought that it was Toby or Macy or Ruby, but it's... Cookie. Yeah. The yeah, loving mama. Yeah. So tell them why she's afraid of thunder and lightning. Cause she is in a rabbit hutch. She lived in a rabbit hutch for her first year of life. So she lived in a rabbit hutch the first year of her entire life and the only person that she had to comfort her and keep her safe in thunder and lightning storms was another dog that it's she was Rocco. really close to. His name was Rocco and we had him too until he suddenly passed away one day. He was older. If you want to hear everything that happened when we got Cookie then you can watch um, Cookie's story. I'll post the link for it up here but yeah. Cookie is terrified of thunder and lightning. She's the only one of our dogs that actually is afraid of it. Right, Cookie? This is fireworks. Yeah, fireworks there too. Was no storm last night. Yeah, I didn't hear it. Did you hear it? No, there was no rain last night. Yeah. Oh, there was rain last night. Um, we got a new camera last week and I've been noticing that it's like having a bit of trouble with tracking and stuff. I don't know, Mark, the quality just seems kind of off a little bit. But anyway, I'm excited for today. Did you guys know? We have a sign in our bathroom and it says, every day holds the possibility of a miracle and it's true. You wake up every morning and you never know what's going to happen. So even when you think that everything is against you and that everything is bad, you can wake up You can die. You could wake up in the morning and something amazing could happen. And you know what happened to me when no, I woke up this morning? Something horrible could happen though. You yeah, could it die. could go either bad or good. But yeah. I choose to believe that it could be good. Think about the good stuff, you guys. Oh, no. So Storm was amazing yesterday. Yeah. He you... even did a lead changeover yeah, pools once. Yeah, lead paint. Yeah, he did do that. Lead... Flying lead change. Yeah. Well, I'm choking at the beeswax smell of your cloth there. Ooh, in your hands. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, so yesterday in yesterday's video, I must have said three times there are no bugs. There are no <laughs> bugs outside because Gabby's terrified of them. Oh, and she was worried about Storm because he doesn't no. like bugs. And I woke up this morning with four mosquito bites on my legs. I must have slept with a mosquito last night. It just ate me the whole night. Oh. This is crazy. <laughs> All the moth. All the moth that was in here. You saw a moth? No, there's always a moth. Okay, let's yeah, do moths, outfit of the day for Sophie. Sophie woke up this morning and came downstairs with a whole new outfit on and she's me. never wore before. Did yeah. you wear your outfit before? No. <laughs> Not the shirt with these leggings. So. I'm going to show you guys Gabby's closet, and then I'm going to explain to you how she wears the same two outfits every single day. I'm it going to the crazy. barn, and these pants are grippy okay. on my saddle. My riding pants are well, so yeah, slippery. Yeah, you need grippy pants. Like, I mean, come on. All right, we have not done it in a while, so we're going to do it now. Outfit of the day, Sophie. Design blueberries. Okay, so she does not have her hair brushed yet, so we should have done that first. But she's got on her adorable unicorn shirt, and it says dream big, you guys. And I challenge you all to dream big and just keep focusing on your dreams. But she's got this dream big shirt and she's got matching pants, no, matching shorts. No pants. I have no pants. And she's got super white legs that we need to fix that this summer, huh? Fix that. Okay. Yeah. 
it, it makes me happy to see when they wear something new because I spend so much time and energy buying them new clothes. And then this happens. Outfit of the day, Gabby. And we got Gabby here in a black and white pants that are just about ready for the garbage pile. And a oh, burgundy shirt. Any and a burgundy shirt that um, she's only worn. How many times do you think you've worn that shirt this winter? 60, 40, I don't know. 20, 20 times probably, 20 times. But I've never worn it. Pants. Well, come on. I didn't even know that. No wonder you have to wear it today. No, I always wear it with black pants. Okay. Keep up. Keep up. Uh, My it, hair's not brushed either. It all makes sense to me now. Yeah, go brush your hair. And let's just take a look at Gabby's setup for summer shirt. Oh, these are Gabby's summer shirts. Almost all of these are brand new. So let's just, just do an inventory. These are all her sweaters. These are all my polos. These are all her polos. She I has have more. Yeah, and she has some in the laundry. So she has enough polos to wear one every single day for two weeks at least, right? But which ones does she wear? She wears I this haven't one. worn it in a long time. Now this is my closet, which I only wear this two times, I think. Yeah, Sophie wears the same. She just she wears the same stuff too. But she will actually go and her closet is kind of messy. <laughs> She's got this adorable hat that a subscriber sent. It looks so cute on her. Let's try it on. She looks so cute in hats. And she's got all these brand new shirts as well. All these shirts. All new, bright, beautiful colors. And she's actually not too bad. I can say, Sophie, you need to wear something new. And she will. But Gabby is totally resistant. I want to know in the comments below. Do you wear the same outfits every single day? Like, just rotate three or four or five outfits? Or do you go through your closet and get something new every day? And be like, oh, this is new. I want to wear this. Yeah. You are not like that. That's for sure. I just realized that I forgot to show you guys the girls' horses that they painted the other day at Gabby's birthday party. Hey, you guys. This is our little storm. And yeah, his nose marking is not exactly perfect, but it's hard to paint, you guys. Yeah, it's hard to paint. Yeah, it was hard to paint. But yeah, this is him. What do you think of him? Yeah, he's a little wet, I see. Okay, so da -da -da -da. Sabrina, get ready, because she's gorgeous. She's gonna come okay, she's gonna come galloping in. So find our dirty table. And there she is. So this is what got Sophie came up with, with for Sabrina. It was whoa, Sabrina, don't die. Um, it was really hard to paint them, harder than I thought. Did you find I it? I had to oh. do her mane a different color because it was blending in too much. Was blending in too much? Yeah, and so that's her. So these will always be our horses, you guys. They'll always be our Sabrina and our Storm. No, it goes like this. Cause like the black paint went on a lot better and a lot easier and was a lot, whoa. Yeah, because you didn't have to mix any colors. Yeah, and it was a lot easier to paint. So that one was easier to get more even uh, brush strokes. Once they're completely dry, because they've been painting on them a little bit more, I'm gonna spray them with some stuff that I have to keep the color on. Baby, anyway, we're here. We're at Mom, the barn. Is, I is drove it? myself. I drove the girls here myself. Sam stayed home. Mom, Weird, but he stayed home. No, that's not it. Come on, let's go catch your pony. So I think that's blood. There. And a tiny, tiny bit here. And I can feel a cut. You seen more blood? No, I think it was there a bit. You think so? This is where? 
Yeah, yeah it's it hurts burnt. here. Right there. Just when we need a first aid kit it's and like we don't have one. It's like a scab that's bleeding. We need to get a first aid kit. It's basically like a scab that's bleeding. Oh, yeah. bleeding a bit more. Yeah, I think that, I don't that's know if we can put a saddle on that. Okay, so it's like not even, it's just a scratch. But still, I don't want her scratched. Sabrina. Oh you don't want Stormy scratched, which I don't. I don't want to go. Yeah. Oh, you can do it. You see it? It's like an actual cut. But I want to make Is sure it to. From the trees, cause... Probably. Look at me like so, catastrophe happened. Gabby gave up her horse for Sophie to have her. Risk. No, not willingly. <laughs> All right, first lesson on storm by mistake. We didn't want to put Sabrina's saddle on because she has two little cuts from trees. We don't want to rub it. Oh, somebody's got a big smile. She's like, yes, I'm getting a first lesson on storm. And there's Gabby who's feeling out of sorts because it just happened so fast. We ripped her horse away from her. She's forgotten all her Sabrina stuff. Yeah, it's hard to ride a different horse, isn't it? with you all right so Chloe's gonna ride Sabrina and Gabby's gonna ride you want me to leg you so they're gonna do a little trail walking oh god get up there oh gosh <laughs> you got muscles And you got a western saddle. So where are you guys headed? Um, we'll go around and that's the end, to the end of the road and then come back. Okay. You're a super rider. You, I've been trying hard to keep my cool. But when you're near, there's nothing that I can do. When you're walking in, I know it's true. I, it doesn't even matter how hard I try. You're going to shorten your outside rein again. You're going to stay sitting. You're going to squeeze your left heel on and kick. Yeah, he's riding beautifully for you. He's going to be a little lazy to get into it. That's fine. Slow. Oh, is he? He's, he's so good for you, Sophia. Change direction. It's going to 
going to be when you can, or you're going to bend your knees and hold his belly with your legs. He won't gallop away. You can squeeze this force until your heels touch each other through his belly. And he would just do that same camera around the Yeah. In case you missed it, what happened was Sabrina had her blanket off for the last couple of days, so she's probably been in the tree scratching against the tree, trying to get the itches off. And today she had her blanket on, and she probably tried to do the same thing, got caught, ripped her blanket, and got a little tiny puncture wound on one side of her. And it's nothing, but we didn't want to put a saddle. We didn't want to put a saddle on it. Imagine somebody pushing on your poor little cut. Yeah.